Yesterday I published this circuit, DC-DC converter, with which you can uh, charge a big car battery out of a small 12 volt battery. And it only works to keep the big battery in good condition. So don't expect that you can fully charge this battery on the long term with this uh, simple small car battery, but it works. And during the winter days and when your car stands still for a very, very long time, this is a useful circuit to keep the battery in, the, in an optimal condition. First I want to show how it works. You hear clicking. A relay is now in the middle of the screen. This relay clicks. Driven by this multi-vibrator here. And what the relay does is that it charges two big capacitors during one moment. And the other moment these two capacitors are switched uh, in series so that at the output we get a pulse from approximately to the sorry approximately 24 volts or 18 volts of course and also a pulse of current DC current that's driven into the big car battery. Here you see the caps that are charged and discharged and here you see the pulse that goes into the big car battery. Every half a second, approximately 400 milliampères is driven into this car battery. I bought it here in the Netherlands. Very good address to go to. Want to show the schematic now? This is the complete schematic. I hope it's visible. Now I'm going to pen a little bit. To show how it all works. So you can keep your battery in a good condition. This is the multi-vibrator. The two caps from 100 microfarads set the frequency in combination with the with the seven is the four seven K potentiometer. And uh, this is the relay. It's a nine volt relay. And here are the switches that are driven by the relay. And they are here. One switch here and one switch here. And this is the wiring from that particular part of the circuit. When you understand what happens it's not very difficult to wire it. These are the pin connections from the transistors. And useful to say when you make CX 8200 microfarad capacitor bigger, you can get to higher currents, higher charge currents. So in fact a very simple circuit, basics uh, made by the basics from uh, the electronics and I hope that it will work in real, that I really can keep my car battery in a good condition with this circuit. I'm going to test it uh, the coming days. Of course, important to tell, never drain this uh, small uh, battery completely out. Now it has 12.4 uh, volts. But when it has gone to 11.5 volts or so, stop charging. Because when you drain it out and the voltage gets too low, say 11 volts or so, you can ruin your small uh, battery, lead acid battery.